Well, I guess we just can't stay away from Golden Corral. Golden Corral. Yeah. Yeah, so we're on our way to eat at Golden Corral because so far of all the places in this town, it's kind of been our favorite. At home, at home we used to get commercials on TV for Golden Corral, and we didn't have a Golden Corral. So I wrote them and asked them to put one in, and they said no. So we came to Arizona so we could go to Golden Corral. Yeah, just so we could go to Golden Corral, we came to Arizona. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We're here about five miles or four miles outside of Casa Grande. <clears throat> and here's a, an abandoned mall that was being built. This is a big mall. I think what had... I think what happened is that last housing boom that we had, everybody was buying, buying, and jacking the prices up on anything, and then the market crashed on the houses. I think that's when this thing here was probably abandoned. The market fell out, and nobody was buying. If you go into Casa Grande, there's a bunch of places, areas in, in, in Casa Grande where they got, uh, they, people, somebody, had, contractor had bought some pro, bunch of property and they put, they put walls around it and uh, started building, getting ready for an influx of, of new homes to be built and everything and then boom, the market crashed. So now there's all kinds of places in Casa Grande where uh, you can see where they were going to build homes and the bank ended up taking the property back. Anyway, it was kind of interesting. Here's one of the places I was telling you about, and there's probably, oh, I don't know, six, seven, eight of these. They had started building. They put the walls in around it. This one here, they uh, got a playground in. And it was going to have a pond, it looks like. They got mailboxes in. <laughs> Just a big area where they were going to put in homes and the market crashed. I'm going to say there's probably eight or nine of these around here somewhere in Casa Grande. It's really amazing. Maybe now that Trump's in, we'll uh, start building Storm them again. going on. See a little bit of it here. Looks like we got this storm over by where we're staying at. Yeah. See how over in that direction? Dust all in the sky. We were up higher on a hill and it looked really bad. We'll see what's going on when we get home. Yeah. Getting windy. We've got a nice little dust storm going. That's over by where we staying at. We're on our way home for our honey. Mm. Fajitas. Trying a new restaurant. New restaurant town. I can't remember the name of it. I don't remember either. Yeah, but the food looks good. We usually get a stuck at home, so we thought we would try this place. We'll let you know after we eat it. This is the restaurant we ate at. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Analyz? I don't know. They have outside eating too if you want, but today it's really windy and it's like a winter day in Arizona, but it's warm. You can, you can still yeah, wear 72. shorts. 72 degrees, winter day. Um, the food was good. Not what we're used to at Azteca, but you know, it was good. It was really good. It is what it is. Well, we're getting ready to have a, having a windstorm right now. And it's supposed to rain tonight, wash all the dust and everything away. Still 70 something degrees. Yeah, <laughs> 73. We're sitting outside after having a nice meal. Come home and take Sophie out, let her do her thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so. We're gonna go play nickel nickel tonight. Oh yeah, nickel nickel tonight. 
We haven't been posting as much as we should because we just kind of got too busy working too. It's not all vacation, it's partly work. Just like being home. <laughs> we are, well, we are home. <laughs> so, until next time, we're checking out.